What if the forest you played in as a child hid a dark secret? Picture this. A place of innocence and joy, where you once laughed and played, now holds a chilling mystery. This is the premise we're met with in In the Woods by Tana French. Tana French, an acclaimed author known for her captivating narratives and intricate plots, weaves a tale that's both haunting and engrossing in In the Woods. This novel is a part of the murder mystery genre, but it's so much more than that. It's a psychological thriller, a detailed character study, and above all, an exploration of the human condition when met with the unknown. In the Woods is a story that begins with three children who enter a forest to play, but only one comes out. The surviving child, now grown-up detective Rob Ryan, has no memory of the event that stole his friends from him. French brings us on a journey through Rob's life as he's assigned a case that hits too close to home. The murder of a 12-year-old girl in the same woods. This is not a mere whodunit. It's an exploration of the past, a delve into the mysteries of the human mind, and an unflinching look at the effect of trauma on memory. The woods in this narrative are not just a physical location, they represent the dark, hidden corners of our psyche, the parts we're afraid to confront. With her rich, evocative prose, French has transformed a simple forest into a character of its own, an enigma wrapped in a mystery. It holds secrets, whispers in the wind and echoes of a past that refuses to be forgotten. The woods are alive in this story, and they're waiting to tell their tale. As we go deeper into the woods with French's narrative, we're met with questions. What happened to the two children? What secrets does the forest hold? And most importantly, can Rob solve the mystery that has haunted him for his entire life? Are you ready to venture into the enigmatic woods and unearth its secrets? Because this is just the beginning. The forest is waiting, and its story is ready to be told. The story begins with three children lost in the woods, but only one returns. As we delve into Tana French's In the Woods, we are first introduced to our protagonist, Detective Rob Ryan, a man shrouded in a veil of mystery and a dark past. We learn that he was once one of those three children who ventured into the woods, the only one who came back, with no recollection of what happened to his two friends. This haunting past serves as a pivotal point around which the whole narrative revolves. From the very onset, French sets the tone with an eerie atmosphere that seeps into every page, every chapter. The woods, a character in their own right, are portrayed as a silent observer, a holder of deep, dark secrets and a trigger for Rob's suppressed memories. These are not your average woods, they are the backdrop for a chilling mystery that has remained unsolved for over two decades. As we navigate through the initial chapters, we are drawn into a world where the past and the present intertwine, where the line between professional and personal blurs for Rob. The mysterious event that sets the story in motion is the discovery of a young girl's body at an archaeological dig site, eerily located in the same woods that swallowed Rob's childhood friends. This event triggers a series of events that lead Rob along with his partner Cassie Maddox into a labyrinth of lies, hidden truths, and long-forgotten memories. Their relationship, marked by trust and camaraderie, adds a layer of depth to the narrative. Rob's struggle with his past, his search for answers, and his journey to solve the murder case, all echo the chilling undercurrents of suspense and intrigue that French has masterfully woven into the narrative. As we close this chapter, we are left with a sense of foreboding, a feeling that the woods are still whispering their secrets, that there's more to the story than meets the eye. We can only wonder what lies ahead as we delve deeper into the chilling chapters of In the Woods. But the woods are not done with their secrets yet. As the plot thickens, the woods become more sinister. The middle chapters of In the Woods by Tana French are where the real intrigue begins to unfold. The murder investigation takes unexpected twists and turns, each one leading us deeper into the heart of the mystery. This is not your run-of-the-mill detective story. French's brilliance lies in her ability to weave a harrowing tale of suspense that keeps you on the edge of your seat. As each chapter unfolds, we see the murder investigation evolve, taking on a life of its own. The tension escalates and the line between the hunter and the hunted becomes increasingly blurred. One of the key moments in these middle chapters is when our protagonist, Detective Ryan, finds himself lost in the very woods he's investigating. It's a chilling scene, a poignant reminder of how easily we can lose ourselves in the search for answers. This is more than just a physical loss of direction, it is a metaphor for the mental labyrinth that the murder investigation has become. As the investigation progresses, the woods seem to take on a more sinister role. They're no longer just a location but a character in their own right. 
silent witnesses to the unspeakable crime. The deeper the detectives delve into the woods, the closer they get to the truth. But the truth, as they soon discover, is not always what it seems. There's a sense of foreboding that permeates these chapters. A sense of looming danger that keeps you turning the pages. You can't help but feel that something big is about to happen, that the detectives are on the verge of a breakthrough. And yet, with every leaf turned, every clue uncovered, the mystery only deepens. Through her masterful storytelling, Tana French creates a world where nothing is as it appears, where every revelation leads to more questions, every answer leads to more uncertainty. The woods, once a place of beauty and tranquility, have become a place of fear and confusion. Every leaf turned unveils a new mystery, a new question. In the end, the woods reveal their secrets, but not all. As we delve into the final chapters of In the Woods by Tana French, we're confronted with an unexpected climax and resolution of the murder mystery that's as chilling as the woods themselves. Our journey through the pages has been a roller coaster of emotions, a tightrope walk between the past and the present. The crescendo of the plot, the climax, is a masterful blend of suspense and revelation. Just when we think we have all the pieces, French throws a curveball that leaves us reeling. The resolution of the murder mystery, however, is anything but straightforward. The answers we've been yearning for are not served on a silver platter, but rather, they're subtly hinted at, leaving room for interpretation and speculation. This is not a tale that hands over all its secrets willingly, it makes us work for them, and even then, some remain elusive. The unexpected twists that French weaves into her narrative are nothing short of brilliant. They're not the gratuitous kind that are thrown in for shock value but rather they're intricately tied to the narrative, deepening the mystery and pushing the story forward. They keep us on our toes never quite sure what's around the corner. And then, there are the unresolved mysteries. The ones that make us question, speculate and theorize. The ones that linger long after we've turned the last page. They're the ones that keep us awake at night, puzzling over the possibilities, the what-ifs. They're the ones that make In the Woods a book that's hard to forget. The woods hold on to their secrets, leaving us with an ending that is as enigmatic as the beginning. French leaves us with an unsettling sense of unease, a reminder that not all mysteries are meant to be solved, that some secrets are best left buried in the woods. This is the chilling beauty of In the Woods. It's a tale that haunts us, that stays with us, long after we've read the final sentence. The woods have spoken, but what did they say? In our exploration of Tana French's In the Woods, We've delved deep into the heart of the mystery, the chilling chapters, and the enigmatic woods themselves. We've discovered that this isn't just a crime novel, it's a psychological exploration of memory, identity, and the haunting power of the past. The book's themes are as dense as the woods themselves. French explores the fragility of memory, the weight of childhood trauma, and the destructive power of secrets. She weaves a narrative that is as complex as it is compelling, forcing us to question our own perceptions and the narratives we tell ourselves. Our journey has introduced us to a cast of characters that are as flawed as they are fascinating. Rob Ryan, our protagonist, is a detective wrestling with the shadows of his past. His partner Cassie Maddox is a beacon of strength and empathy, her loyalty tested by the unfolding mystery. And the woods themselves? They stand as a silent, enigmatic character, echoing with whispers of the past. But what makes In the Woods truly haunting is the lingering mystery that remains even after the last page is turned. The woods hold secrets that refuse to be unearthed, leaving us with an unsettling sense of unease. French masterfully keeps us on the edge, the truth always just out of reach. The atmosphere that French creates is palpable. The woods are not just a setting, but a symbol of the unknown, the unexplored, and the unresolved. They embody the uncertainty and the fear that lies at the heart of every mystery, casting long shadows over the narrative. In the Woods leaves us contemplating the mysteries of our past and the secrets that lie beneath the surface. So, are you ready to lose yourself in the woods? Mm -hmm.